been nearly a year now since the mass shooting at the Boise Town Square Mall, and now we're getting a glimpse of what the officers saw on scene with the release of body camera video. On October 25th, Jacob Berquist shot four people, killing two of them inside the mall and then ran out into the parking lot. And that's where the Boise Police body camera video picks up the pursuit moments before Berquist died by his own gun. The footage shows the body camera of two Boise police officers and it stops before showing anyone who got hurt. We do want to let our viewers know before we begin here, there are gunshots in this video that may be uncomfortable for some of you watching. Our Andrew Bartline watched the video and he breaks it down for us. Boise police responded to a shooting at the Boise Town Square Mall on October 25th, 2021. Within minutes, Boise police officers were on scene looking for the shooter, now known to be Jacob Burquist. Two officers responding to the shooting saw a man dressed in all black just blocks away from the mall. We now know this was Burquist. Here we see the first officer sitting in the passenger seat. The officer gets out of the car armed with a rifle. At this moment, Burquist is firing shots toward the officers. The officer runs to cover behind a different Boise police car. But if we rewind the video and play it frame by frame, we can see Burquist's legs behind the stop sign. As we play the video forward, we can see Burquist shooting his gun toward police as Burquist continues to run away. Police say the other officer's gun was not working. At that point, the officer drove his car toward Burquist. Burquist bullets fired through the windshield and hit the officer's hat. That officer then follows Burquist as Burquist goes to hide behind a dumpster. This officer's body cam does not have any sound, but back over at the first officer, we hear a final gunshot. He's running uh, eastbound back towards the mall. Boise police officers found Burquist behind that dumpster. The Ada County coroner determined Burquist died after shooting himself. Andrew Bartline, Idaho's News Channel 7. Interim Boise Police Chief Ron Weiniger addressed the community personally when Boise police released this footage. Chief Weiniger says this event deeply impacted the department, where one officer to this day is still not able to be back at his regular patrol duties. And while there are a lot of emotions and feelings surrounding that day, he hopes there can be peace and comfort and maybe some level of closure as time goes on here.